The big finale for Survivor Edge of Extinction kicks off in less than three hours right here on 13 WMAZ. One of the finalists is from right here in central Georgia. Rick Devins works as a morning news anchor at WGXA, but for the past couple of weeks he has been battling it out for the title of Soul Survivor. Rick joins us now live from the Survivor red carpet. He's gone big time. He's in California. All right, Rick, before we talk about tonight, let me go back to the start. What were your expectations going into the competition? My expectations going in, first of all, Frank, it's so good to talk to you. And on <laughs> TV, I didn't think we were allowed to do this. Oh. Uh, but I was so excited uh, to be starting this show. I'm such a big fan of it. And uh, I really, I think everyone has the same thought when they go on Survivor. Don't be the first one voted off. Even if you get a chance to get back in, you don't want to be the first one voted off. So that, that was my main goal. All right, you know, Rick and I cross paths a lot in the high school football field. Now, you've received a lot of applause, Rick, for the way you've played the game. You won 304 immunity challenges, still have the immunity idol. Now, is this a case of adapting on the fly, or did you go in with a particular plan? <laughs> this is absolutely adapting on the fly. You mentioned the high school football field. I was getting good coaching at halftime. Uh, once I won my way back into the game, I realized I had to change everything. I was going out there trying to be a very good social player, uh, kind of stay behind the scenes. And then when I got back in, I just could not find footing in a great alliance. So uh, I was a man on my own. And at that point, it's, it's either win or go home. So a lot of time trying to win those challenges and a lot of time digging through spider webs and digging in the dirt. It might look like I searched 30 seconds to find that idol. Hours, Frank. Hours out there digging. <laughs> uh, all right, Rick. Now, a lot of people who follow this show religiously think you are going to be the winner. Have you had a chance to allow yourself to think about what it might be like to have Jeff Probst call out your name as the sole survivor? You know, Jeff Probst calling out your name even to yell at you during a challenge is pretty <laughs> great. So to be called out as the sole survivor, that's got to be pretty epic in itself um it is it's surreal to be getting this close you know to finding out who's going to win this whole season uh the whole time you're out there you're thinking about the money but it's all very theoretical and now tonight someone's someone's walking away with a big check it's going to be interesting <laughs> no reason it can't be you thank you very much rick devins we appreciate it we'll talk with you again tonight at 11 <laughs> o'clock after the, after the Survivor finale. Again, you can watch the three-hour Survivor Edge of Extinction finale right here on 13 WMAZ. It starts at 8 o'clock.